uh, one of the most influential, you know, which people don't like to mention, but uh, was the uh, psychedelic aspects of the 60s. Jimmy told me one day that I had to go with him and try a tab. I said, what's a tab? He said, man, you know what a tab is. He said, that's LSD. Jimmy had the ability to take LSD, take more than the average person. His body had this uh, tolerance that was remarkable for his size. As, a, as you know, because his physical, his physical size. size, one would not believe that he could take so much of those expanders and be conscious. He was, had a mission, and I keep saying that. I, and I, I'm saying that he had a place to go, and he didn't necessarily know how he was going to get there. But he found that out, too, and I just think it was through that LSD. I think that because it, was, it opened his head up, and I, and I saw that with my own eyes. I could believe Lonnie. I think that that probably had a lot of effect on making him see a direction very, very clear. I think he was born in the direction. I think that that merely helped to uh, accelerate the process. I truly believe that Jimmy uh, met music, mm -hmm. you know, music as an entity. Jimmy met music and music said, okay, bang, you are dedicated. You know, you're the one. You know, I love you too. I love you just as much as you love me. And so he learned how to tap in, and that's exactly what he did, you know? What happened was that I saw New Jimmy. I saw a Jimmy that I, I didn't even know, I didn't know no more. He was still playing R&B, but he was playing it from a distance. He had gotten a revelation. I witnessed this here, that he had gotten a direction. You could say he was setting a new pace uh, in music style. This thing was an early merger where rock and roll and rhythm and blues meet, you know, along with psychedelics.